What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Just In Time 3D Prints and today I'm showing you how I solved the problem of how to carry these big giant amiibos around with your switch. Your switch is supposed to be portable but the amiibos these are hard to carry around especially since they don't fit in the case. Clearly this amiibo is bigger than others but this one is the half the size of the switch. So today I am showing you how I solved that problem and turned the amiibo into this little coin. So now this is my amiibo. Um, just to give you a heads up, I have no, I don't collect these. I do not care to collect these. Um, I wanted them simply to get the in-game items. So before we get started on this, I do want to let you know that the method I'm going to tell you about does mess up the bottom of your amiibo. If that's an issue, this might not be the video for you. If you don't care, then this is definitely the video for you. In this video also, I will not be showing you how to take them apart as there are videos online already and I don't want to be held responsible if you were to damage it. Um, there are my way, which is I used a rotary tool, Dremel, and cut the base off. So it ended up looking like this once it was done. And this is the cap. Um, but like I said, I do not collect these, so the condition of the amiibo once it was done was not a concern to me. Um, there are ways online that you can get them off without damaging them. But once this is done like this with the base messed up, it still sits down fine. And unless you're flipping it over looking at it, you're not really going to know the difference. But enough of that. Let's go ahead and show you how I made the coin, I guess you would say the coin to put it inside of, and how to do it once your amiibo is disassembled. You ready? Let's go. Welcome back everyone. And I will now be showing you how to make your Amiibos, as I say, to go. This is starting after I, I'm assuming you have taken apart your Amiibo. Um, there, like I said, there are a couple different ways to take them apart. You can take them apart with a Dremel tool. You can take them apart sometimes by just popping them off. But as far as a Dremel tool, I will show you this is one of them that had to be taken off with a Dremel tool. So this is dangerous. I will say don't try this at home. For anyone under the age of 18, please have someone help you. But like I said, this can be dangerous. But to get into it, this is what the Amiibo looks like once the bottom is off. Almost every time the sticker has been here for when I've taken one apart, I've taken five apart, only one sticker has not been there. It had been on the bottom part, which as you can tell by the way this has been cut up, that could be an issue. So please be careful. I'm not responsible if you damage your Amiibo. But once you get down to this part, this is the actual NFC chip. This is what the switch picks up. So these are literally just thin stickers you can just pry off with a razor blade and then set your amiibo to the side. This is all the NFC chip is. This thin piece of paper, sticker, whatever you want to call it. So what I do next is I take a sticker and I peeled it off and threw it away already. And you place this on the sticker like backing just in case you ever want to remove it again. This is not a mandatory option. I mean, this is not mandatory. This is just something in case you would maybe like to later on remove it from the coin we're about to put it inside. But once it is like this, you need to cut as close to the sticker NFC chip as possible and without cutting the chip. So let's do that. Like I said, be very careful. There is a little bit of slack underneath it here in case you were to miss a little bit and hit the sticker or the chip but I wouldn't take any chances so let's just cut this take some patience and of course you know white on white makes it a little bit harder but just be careful I haven't cut any of my chips yet hopefully I won't I have done uh, four or five already and just Get as close to you as you can. And this can be put on the back of any kind of sticker paper. I just do it because, like I said, in case I ever want to remove it from this casing later, it's on the backing already. You don't have to worry about it. 
All right, let's see. Any little edges like this, make sure you snip them off because it will hinder from going in there because I did make these uh, coins. They're going inside a very one-to-one -one ratio. Um, I know this did come off the bottom of this 8-bit link, but I had already, since the bottom of my Toon Link had, not Toon Link, Wolf Link, had came off so easily, I just glued the base back on. So, on the link below, you will find these on Thingiverse. This is the bottom cap, which already has a piece of something in it. This is the bottom cap. You just take this and place this inside. If there's any resistance, take it back off, trim off the edges a little bit so it fits in well. Now, this is the top piece. Let's get it to focus. I actually got this to say Wolf Link. Um, in Thingiverse, I will upload these two files. This is just a blank base, and I will upload a blank top where you can create your own. I will upload this one as well, but I don't know. Let's do this first. Basically, once that's done, you just start pushing it together. I made the tolerance very, very tight, so these can be pushed together with no glue, and they're not coming apart. And even if you drop it, it's not going to come apart. Like I said, this will be on Thingiverse. And I'll show you a couple of the other ones I've done already. Uh, if I can get this one to look good, there you go. I've done this one, and I have done this, the Link Ocarina of Time Amiibo I have, the 8-bit Link Amiibo I have, and this one is my favorite um, case I've made. This is the Guardian that I do want to redo, so this one will not be on Thingiverse because I want to redo it. As you can see, like the middle of the D and the A's have fell through. That's why the 8-bit, the 8 and the B look the way they do. But this one is made out of protopasta stainless steel, and then I sanded it down to make it nice and smooth. I was worried at first that maybe the stainless steel would block the chip, since I know they can be blocked with aluminum foil. Uh, that was not the case. This still works well. Um, and as far as these go... I really don't care too much about collecting them, so that's why I didn't care destroying the base. But once this is done, it sits just like it used to. And if it's sitting on a flat table, you're not going to be able to see the cuts. So you just throw them up and display them. But now everybody's wondering, well, you did all this. Do they still work? Let's go ahead and show you that. I will let you know that I have already used these Amiibos today, so it's just going to say, hey, can't use them again, but I'm going to show you just so you know they still work. Let's get this out of the glare. Kind of. Yes. There we go. Okay. I already have it pulled up. So like the Guardian one, for example. It'll just say, can't use this again today. 8-bit. Ocarina of Time. And last but not least, the Wolf Link. This amiibo cannot be used again today. Uh, so, this is what they look like. The reason I did them in color, different colors, is because as you can tell, there's three links here. So I did this one to look like a wolf. This one to look like Zelda. Um, these are all done in PLA. This is wood filled for the bottom of this one, and this one is in stainless steel. I would not recommend printing this in printing these in ABS, as ABS does shrink, and the tolerance, like I said, is very very tight. Um, I do not turn that off. I do not think ABS would be a good option, although other item, um, other plastics that do not shrink, I don't see where they'd be a problem. Um, as always, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my video. If you have any questions, please ask me in the link below. Um, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like. Also, um, these are, in case anyone was wondering, they are three millimeters on each on each side. So each one of these colors is three millimeters. In case you were wanting to know um, for adjustments, this one is made from four because this is how I originally, or yeah, four each. So this is eight millimeters high. This is originally how I started making them, but now I cut them down a little bit. But look how much easier this will be to carry around than this this, this, and this. So all these are cut down to these coins now. 
and they work just fine. And like I said, everyone, thank you again for stopping by. Have a good day.